Hi, and welcome back to my wild garden. It's uh, July and we're having a heat wave. It's uh, astonishingly warm even though it's still only morning. Anyway, the reason I'm here today is to show you something I think is really cool. One of my favorite garden beasties, you know. Um, I think kids, sadly, often think that, that fantastic beasts can only be found in silly CGI films or seen on television or whatever, but actually there are some amazing beasts living all around us if you look closely and you're lucky enough to find one. And I have found one today, so let me show you. Look at this beastie. I'll get in nice and close, hopefully you can see it. Look at that. You might be struggling to work out what you're looking at. That is it's a caterpillar on the side. There's a half-eaten leaf it's been munching away at. That is munching away right now. Look at that. And look at that beautiful camouflage. It just kind of disappears. Uh, so this is the caterpillar of a pus moth, which doesn't sound particularly great, does it? Um, but this, the pus refers to the adult, which um, is a lovely white fluffy moth. In fact, I'll show you a picture of one now. There you go, gorgeous white fluffy thing with sort of black and gray markings. Um, and it's meant to look a bit like a cat. It takes a lot of imagination, but there you go. Uh, anyway, <laughs> So this is this is the caterpillar. Uh, this is nearly fully grown, and aside from being kind of amazingly camouflaged, they're also very unusual caterpillars. I remember when I was a kid, I desperately wanted to find these because they're they're so cool. So as a defence, they have a number of kind of tricks up their sleeve. So if it thinks it's being attacked, look at this tail. It has a weird. Here, I'll get it close. A weird forked tail. Two prongs. But when it feel, thinks it's, I'll pretend to be a bird trying to, trying to bite it, um, peck it, whatever. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that, there's little red filaments have come out of the end of the tail. Let's try that again. Can you see them? <laughs> um, really amazing. What purpose that serves, nobody knows, but it must be something to do with defence. I can't really see why a funny little red tail would put a a bird off eating it. The other two, they have two more tricks. One is, I'm not sure how easy this is going to be to see, but the, the face, let me show you his face. When he scrunches it up like that, when he's, when he's annoyed, he's got two little eye spots. Hang on Seth, I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, it looks a bit like a face meant to frighten off predators. And they can even, if you really stress them, they can squirt formic acid out of their thorax. Um, which I've, I've never irritated, frightened one enough to get it to do that, but uh, that's what they say anyway. Very cool beasties. Um, these can be found all over Britain, they're not hugely rare at all. Uh, just hard to spot as you can see. So this won't be on, this, this will soon be fully grown and then it'll go and find a, a nice corner somewhere quiet. And spin a, they produce this incredibly tough cocoon from brown silk that they pupate within and then the adult moth will be on the wing next June or thereabouts. There you go, another um, an amazing beast, um, fantastic creature. Uh, see what you can find in your in your garden. You might be surprised what's what's out there or go to a local park if you don't have a garden. There are just amazing creatures in this country. Anyway, that's it from me for today. Have a good day. Do remember to subscribe if you want to get a notification when more fantastic beasts appear on my channel. Thanks.